This is a story of four friends on the verge of middle school entering that strange phase of uncertainty about the notion of getting older. First of all, the premise has potential. Unfortunately, it's cancelled by uneven performances and a mediocre script. The movie is awkwardly colliding a coming-of-age drama with a grim detective story. The film cannot decide whether to be a comedy, a horror flick, or a coming-of-age tale, so it tries to be all three simultaneously. That prevents the movie from fully working as any of those things. The movie sometimes feels like a homage to 1980s coming-of-age drama, Stand By Me. Dragging the Stand By Me story into a modern era of cell phones, the movie becomes a misfire. The individual struggles these kids are going through at home with this exercise as a means to test the strength of their friendship, it barely scratches the surface of who they are. The bond between the four girls is never more winning than when they're just wandering around at the start of the movie. Some of the dialogue is stifled and off, as if the script was written for characters a few years older. The dialogue alternates between advancing the narrative and announcing its themes as if the movie is worried that the viewers have yet to understand that the girls are reluctant to leave childhood behind. The four main young actresses are certainly trying hard here, and it's tough to criticize any of them for failing to make the movie's stiff expository dialogue feel believable out of their mouths. The actors do their best, but each of them still ends up feeling more like a cluster of tropes than a character. By the end of the film, what we know most about the characters is how little we still know about them. To make it worse, the parents' connection also accomplished with forced and cheesy dialogue. As the movie plot picks up, the script starts to crumble. There are periodic surreal moments that diverge into flat-out horror movie territory, which is baffling as they most often feel schlocky and amateur rather than mood heightening. It creates some tonal problem as the movie also wants to provide jump scares from this dynamic as the kids see reoccurring visions of the dead man. The final reveal makes no sense in its execution as it's cringe-worthy and a tired cliché and so is its thematic purpose. Overall, the movie feels inert and stilted with its underwhelming conclusion. It comes up with thin archetypes and underdeveloped storylines. Its dramatic ambitions fall short, frequently feeling random and undercooked. We do not recommend this movie at all.